Now in this lesson we do some more work on composite shapes, but this time when finding a shorter side. Now as before we need to identify a right angled triangle, that's our first step, then mark in the length for that triangle. Let's consider these examples. We're asked to find x, and again it's a composite shape, it's not just a plain right angled triangle, but we need to identify where one exists. So if we draw a line across there, there's our right angled, and there is the right angled triangle. So next step is to mark in the lengths for this triangle. Well the base length there, we can see that it in fact is x. So we mark the x in. This side though, requires a bit of thought. We can see that the full height of the shape is 14, and then part way there is 9. So we need to think 9 and something make up that full 14. Well that something would be 5, ok, 9 and 5 make up the 14. So we've got our triangle marked as such, trying to find x, it's one of the shorter sides this time isn't it, one of the shorter sides. So we start that x squared equals, then the hypotenuse is 13, so we write 13 squared, and the other shorter side is 5, so we subtract the 5 squared. So if x squared equals 13 squared minus 5 squared is 144. And if we think about that, we should be able to do it in our head, x squared is 144, take the square root and we get that x equals 12. Very good. Our next example here, we're asked to find x again. So let's identify where the right angled triangle is. Again, if we draw a line there, there's our right angle and there's our right angled triangle. Now let's mark in the lengths for this triangle. That distance there is 8. Now this distance here is a little bit harder to work out. What we're going to do is let it be m, and let's find that firstly. So, m is a shorter side in this triangle, so we're going to write m squared equals. The hypotenuse is 10, so we write 10 squared, and because we are finding one of the shorter sides, we're going to subtract the h squared. So if m squared equals 10 squared minus 8 squared is 36. We have m squared equals 36. We take the square root and find that m equals 6. So where we have m there, we're just going to cross it out now and replace it with 6. Now, don't forget what the question says there, find x. So there's the full length there. x is the full length. We know that part of it's 6, part of that length is 6, and we need to know the other part. Well, looking very carefully on the diagram, we can see the other part, in fact, is 5. So we mark the 5 in. So x there is really made up of the 6 and the 5. So x equals 6 plus 5, and that, of course, works out to be that x equals 11.